You've got PB. You've got D jelly. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. Today, unfortunately, we're not camping. We're not camping. <clears throat> But we are out here, kind of out in the woods, down here by the creek, got a little fire going. It's a nice day for this. Uh, we're gonna do a chair review. There's a whole lot of chairs out there. You know, we've got a variety of chairs, variety of sizes. They got their uses, they got their price points. They're, they're kind of all over the place. What you need, what you want, what you willing to spend for it. Yep, and where you get, you know, where you're going. Some of them are small, some of them are big, some of them are easily easily packed away. Some of them are a little bigger and not don't fit in a kayak. Some of them might just be strictly for camping around, you know, car camping. So I mean, we don't have everything out there, but we got a lot of options out here. We're gonna talk about them all. Alright, so first let's let's kind of talk about the differences because we're gonna be sitting in the same chairs. We're, we're two different guys. I'm 5'7, 165 pounds. Yep. I'm 6'2, about 190, 195 give or take. So you know a chair sets different with a different weight range and a different height range. Absolutely. So one of the things we want to try to take into accountability is that factor too. So, so some chairs work for me that are not going to work for Jelly. Yep. And we're going to let you know. That way you got kind of an idea. Hey, if you're a taller guy, that chair might not be for me. Or if you're a shorter guy, that chair might not work for you. <laughs> Alright guys, first up, we're going to talk about the basic bag chair. These things you can find them anywhere. I've seen them at Walmarts, Dollar Generals, sporting goods stores, they're everywhere. Yep. These are some of the chairs you probably see most of the time. If you have people over around campfires or they're really popular to take on camping trips where you're actually like at a campsite, baseball games. I would say this is probably, if you think of like a camping chair, probably what your mind goes to first. Absolutely. All right, most of these chairs are made out of some some sort of polyester. I've seen them rip stop, uh, mesh. These are made of a little thicker material. Same pretty much polyester, but you've got some padding that's built in between the layers. That's just kind of like one single layer of polyester. I have like steel frames, aluminum frames. It just depends on what you want to buy. Yep, this one's a little nicer one. You know, probably 10 to $15 range. That's $5 range. But the thing about that one that's pretty cool is you can get the logo of your favorite team put on it. Roll tight. All right, so this is your bag chair. I mean, you sit down, you sit back, kind of hang out, sit here for a little while. Then you got this. I call this the flop and pop. You go in somewhere, you just got this thing carrying it around. You flop it out, pop down. You're good to go for a little while. Little, packs up small, convenient. Yeah. Something you're not for the long term, but if you know you're gonna be chilling in the woods or around a fire for a little bit, I'd say it's a good thing. All right, so these two, you're probably not gonna take on the kayak camping trip. You're not going backpacking with these. This is kind of a car camping. Yeah, or sitting around the house type thing. This, this little one, guy has a Velcro straps at the bottom. You can tie the bottom too. And I mean, as thin as that packs up, that can go in a wet bag in your kayak, something easy to, to bring with you on a trip that's not going to take up much room or weight. I think it's like a pound and a half somewhere in there. It's, yep. not, it's not going to weigh you down. It's kind of a good little flop and plop chair. Alright guys, this is kind of an upgrade from the bag chairs that we were just showing you guys. This is the GCI Freestyle Rocker. Uh, About 60 bucks you can get this thing on Amazon. Here they did sport goods. Um, Academy's gonna have it a lot of places like that. Steel frame comes in about 12 pounds where you car camp for an extended period of time and you're gonna do a lot of sitting or like something for a travel ball. Moms and dads that are gonna be at games sitting there all day. It does have a higher price tag, but the sitting is worth it. Probably definitely worth it, but you're not sitting in that one position the whole day. The special thing about this chair are the spring loaded rockers right here. We'll let Jelly sit down and show you how it rocks. Kind of you just rock back and forth in that thing. Hey, if, if you're sitting somewhere for a long period of time, it's probably worth the 60 bucks to go ahead and get something like this. It's not going to be for kayak camping. 
anything like that where you're having to carry it somewhere. Yeah, it does pack up kind of small. Yeah, it's kind of flat. So if you got some room in your truck. But it ain't going in no kayak. No. For sure. That's it. All right. GCI Freestyle Rock. All right, guys. You might recognize these bad boys right here. Yeah, these are the ones that we use on some of our trips. You've seen us do. This right here is the Gila Knots Chair One. I think it's, it's so light, small, packs down really small. I think it weighs 2.6 pounds. It'll hold up to 320 pounds. Man, it's just a comfortable, nice chair. About 90 bucks. You can get this thing on Amazon, but there's several other different brands and stuff. Yep, this one right here, we actually found at like a local discount store, something like a maybe TJ Maxx. Retag. Yeah, Retag. Some of those other just discount stores. I think we got this thing for under five bucks. Uh, weight capacity on it is 225 pounds. Polyester, but it's not near as, as I think water resistant as his Hillinox is. You know, obviously doesn't have the mesh involved. It's a thicker polyester. Yeah, this one's gonna have that polyester rip stop top stuff and the mesh to kind of keep you cool yeah but i'm gonna tell you just like i said these are the ones that we take on our trips i ain't complaining about this five dollar chair right here this is a great little chair it packs up just as easy as the helinox the helinox obviously i think it weighs a little bit more mine comes in about four pounds ninety dollars to five dollars that's you know that's something you got to think about is that something you want to give up or vice versa it's pretty easy to pack in throw it between your feet on your kayak or I put mine, if I'm doing a little backpacking trip, I'll put this in my backpack. Uh, it's just, it's nice to have. I know, I hear a lot of people say it's overkill to sit on the ground. But I'm gonna tell you, when you're out there and you're sitting around a fire at night and you've been paddling all day or hiking all day, it's nice to just plop down in a little chair like this. I wanna add one thing I did notice when, when we were kind of putting these together that I hadn't paid attention to before is the, the little stops right here that these legs go into. That's one thing that I do like about the Helinox. These little things are a lot more stiff. Yeah, stiffer. Rigid. They're a lot, a lot more rigid, and this goes in here a lot easier. So when you're putting these together, this is a little more flimsy, a little more kind of flappy. It's kind of hard to, to get to stick into, but. I would dare say this one's gonna last longer. Yeah. But this one cost $85 less. I mean, what are you, you gonna do? Yeah. All right, guys. We're in, the, we're in a lot more of the specialty type chairs now. Like with this thing right here, this ain't cheap, but it's nice. It's the Nemo Stargaze Luxury Recliner Chair. This thing right here, it's gonna cost you about 220 bucks. I've seen a lot of people talk about these on camping forums, wanting to know what you know about them. I looked, I couldn't find a lot of reviews, so I thought, hey, let's talk about this thing. So here it is. I've been using this now for a couple of years. I like it, but it's got its purposes. Not something you'd want to, to bring somewhere to pop up quick for a seat or something like that. You know, there's a little involved in it. I think it weighs about six pounds. It comes packed a little bit bigger. I, I wouldn't recommend trying to throw this in your kayak. This would be something more or less like kind of around here. You know, you set up around a fire at home. I think you've used it for a couple of a longer game days with, with your daughter. I've taken this to some softball tournaments setting it. I get a lot of people asking about this chair, wanting to try it. It's comfortable, it's nice, and it's kind of it's kind of perfect for that. For five seven, it's kind of perfect for me, and I'll just kind of sit in it, show you what all you can do. I mean, basically you can you can sit here and swing rock like this. You can lean back, it holds its position. You can change your position multiple times. It's got a little cup holder, it's got a little pocket over here for your cell phone. The the, the tricky part is it's kind of sometimes you wonder where do I put my arms? So me being a little bit shorter, I can kind of put mine right here. I'll throw them up here sometimes. Uh, Jelly, his is a little bit different being taller. He's, he's all trying to figure out where to get comfortable. When I sit in it, you know, the inside kind of pulls together and I feel like I don't really have anywhere for my, for my arms to go. Kind of put them through here, but then I'm kind of stuck, you know, so I just feel like I'm kind of tight together, you know, and I, you know, most guys like to be kind of laid out a little bit, so. 
I don't know if it would be the best for taller people. I got a lot, a lot more arms. I got to try to figure out where to go. Yeah. What's that? Is that a... That's a short joke. Oh. But... I would say so. I seen it. I seen Brent lay back. So especially like the tournament game days, you know, people bring out the big canopies and stuff with the shade. I could see in between games kicking back like that, catching you a little. 10 minute power nap or something like I that. I have fallen asleep in this chair. I have I can see slept. that happening pretty easy. But I've used this in the woods, uh, car camping, at campgrounds, uh, here, here at the house, just sitting down here by the creek. Just a lot of fires this thing's been around and it's, it's been nice. This is a chair Brent got from Walmart. It's uh, made by Magellan. It's called like a, a hammock chair. So. Kind of like just a, a little mini hammock in a chair. I actually haven't had too much experience with it. Uh, his daughter, I know, that she kind of read and do little yeah, writing and stuff in it. She just keeps this in her room. Uh, she'll sit and play on her phone, uh, draw a little bit and stuff like that. Friends come over, they like to sit in and swing. But for somebody like me, even even me being a little bit shorter, it's not that comfortable. You kind of get in here and you kind of balled up. And you don't know what to do with your head. And this one's not for me. Definitely not for me. But we thought it was worth showing you guys as an option. I think it was about 40 bucks, maybe a little bit more than that. At a Walmart Ozark Trail made this. And I can only think that as time moves on, more and more chairs are yeah, going to be out. Yeah, we'll start seeing more stuff like this. Hopefully a little bit better than this one, but we wanted to show you guys that if you want something where you can swing a little bit, you don't have to pay $220. There is another option out there. Yeah. Like something you might keep in your room for your daughter or something like that. Just a cool accessory to have in your room for friends to sit in and stuff like that. It, it has to weigh 10, 12 pounds. I didn't weigh yeah, it's this It's got one. like a scissor mechanism on the bottom to pack yeah. it up. So you want to throw that in there. All right, guys, we got all the chairs that we have out here. All the, I feel like we've covered some pretty good bases today on different types of chairs and different uses for them. Yeah, I think besides a, a house recliner, I think we've covered yeah. most, most yeah. everything we've, we've. So, Jelly, what would you say your favorite is? Like, the chairs we showed today, we, you know, you've got the bag chairs, the backpacking chairs, the rocker. Yep. What, what, what would you pick? I got it right here, buddy. Oh, that the Halo Knots. Yeah. Oh, Halo Knots. That's, that's the one y'all see to me, you can tell I'm very emotionally attached. These are oh, yeah. the ones we bring to all our videos right yeah. here. Hey, you said on a lot of. A lot of creek banks where you feed the water sitting in these chairs right here. Yep. Lightweight. Yeah. Easy to sit in, easy to put together. Packs up easy. You don't feel like you're sliding out of the like, and, and I got, you know, I'm good. I'm going to have to go with everyday use. Your boy's pulling in the star gaze. Old Nemo. Maybe it's my short complex, but I like to be sitting up a little bit higher. <laughs> that might be, but see, that's what he is. He's sitting in that Nemo, I'm sitting in the lower chair. He feels a little bit taller than me right yeah, now. Yeah, look. I figured it out. Hey, I'll, I'll let you know if it's raining. Yeah. I can see, honestly, though, why you picked that <laughs> chair, though. It is a good, versatile, you know, bring around chair. If you're gonna be somewhere for an extended period of time, even if you're gonna be there for a short time, there's a little more involved putting it together, but it's not a headache. Like, you can get it up and, 20 seconds and, and me I, i've i've had a few little back issues here and there so me kind of sitting in the same position for a, a while kind of hurts so with this one you know i can lean back a little bit i can recline a little bit i can kind of change it up and it's this chair kind of molds perfectly for that so yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna go with this one i'm gonna choose the Helinox. knox uh so out of all the chairs today what was your guys favorite what was your favorite chair i'm falling <laughs> you gotta put that in though. <laughs>
So what would you say your favorite chair is? If, you, if you're going to go look, look for one of these chairs, what kind of piques your interest about these? Tell us. This happens to be your first Camp PBNJ video. So, we appreciate you watching. Maybe you can check out one of these videos. Or this one. Also, be sure to subscribe right here. Or hit the notification bell to get notified when we upload future videos. Yeah. Take care, guys. Appreciate it.